Is human consciousness impossible for us to ever understand? That's what the new Mysterians are telling us. So just to refresh, we have this organic brain, which neuroscientist Christoph Koch calls the most complex object in the known universe. This brain manifests the mind. So we study the brain, we study the mind, and then we struggle with the psychophysical nexus between the two. And this is where we get into the mind-body problem. So neuroscientists, philosophers, psychologists, and theologians all struggle with this mind-body problem, and they grasp for that answer, what is human consciousness? And then along come the new Mysterian philosophers, and they argue that we might just be incapable of solving the riddle of consciousness to begin with. The most prominent of the new Mysterians is Colin McGinn who recently outlined his philosophy at the World Science Festival. He states that the brain itself is incapable of comprehending the natural coexistence of mind and body. It's not that we're dumb, it's just that we've evolved to carry out certain cognitive feats, such as navigation, hunting, surviving within a social system. But I ask you, what is the evolutionary advantage? What's the possible evolutionary advantage of understanding human consciousness? This involves some of the same concepts as cognitive closure, the philosophical idea that there are certain things about the universe that the human brain will simply be unable to understand. The exception to this, of course, is the steady accumulation and preservation of scientific data over the course of human history. Uh, it's kind of cheating a bit, but still, all this external accumulation cannot make up for our inner cognitive limits. So what do you think? Do you buy into all this new Mysterianism and cognitive closure, or do you think that one day we'll be able to crack the mind-body problem? Let us know. You can leave a comment below, you can leave a video response, and don't forget to subscribe for even more mind-blowing videos.